Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. How are you doing out there, everybody? Yeah, today's episode, we're going to be talking about episode one of P Volley <laughs> that comes <laughs> on <laughs> Sundays on Stars. Yeah, it's just short for. Uh, we're not going to get say it. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so episode one basically sets the premise of the show. Yes, yeah. it's centered around exotic dancers, strippers, whatever one you want to call them. I think that some prefer being called strippers, some prefer being called exotic dancers, Beautiful some women. prefer being called entertainers, whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is. Um, so before we even jump into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, join the uh, movie social family. And um, I do have a question, so let me jump in the review. This, to me, doesn't take place in 2020. No, to me, it seems like it takes place back on Katrina. Hit the nail on the coffin. Mm -hmm. This is down in the south. Down in like, uh, by, like Louisiana, New Orleans, New Orleans, Orleans, all that. Georgia. Pittsburgh. Bama. Yeah. All, all that down in the deep south. Yep. Close to the golf. Because it definitely, area. it definitely gave you that when it first came on that, oh, this is... I'm not going to say post... Yeah, post Katrina. I mean, it could either be Dawn right after Katrina or it could be after like the... the uh, Forget the hurricane that uh, devastated Houston and all it, with the flood. It could be, but I think this is post Katrina. But I, I know it's not 2020. It can't be 2020. Yeah. This has to be before the Trump era because yeah, this definitely seems like it's post Katrina um, to me. Um, which and, and that's fine. I mean, and that's fine. I don't care. It's just that just, to, just for the viewers to be like, hey, wait, what places? No, it just definitely seems like it's set back a few years ago to the post Katrina New Orleans uh, mm -hmm. area. So. And to me, the show reminds me, as not completely, but a little bit of the Players Club. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna disagree with you. It definitely reminds me of Players Club. Um, as far as I'm not gonna say no. As of right now, we only seen the first episode. That's what I'm saying. I I'm not gonna see it's not as fully. gritty as uh, the Players Club. I mean, but I feel like it will get way more grittier. I than think we're just scratching the surface. They were setting a tone for each yes. character in the first yes. episode. Especially, there's a lot more going on with Mercedes. Yes. There's a lot going on with... Who uh, is the, the the main dancer at... Uh, well, was. The, well, before she retires. But I think the club name is Pinky. Is it is Pinky? I think it's Pinky. Um, Don't quote me on that. I think it's Pinky's. I really think it's Pinky's. Uh, um, it's Pink. Pink. It's called Pink. There we go. Pinky's Pink. What a okay. P Y N K. Yes. So she is the OG. I think she's what only twenty five. Yeah, I mean, but she's been there. <laughs> but she's she's probably been there since she was eighteen. She's been the money hungry one there off the group. Not the money hungry one. She's been the one who brings I, in the most money. I mean, you gotta be money hungry to bring in the money. You gotta be business minded. True. And, and, and she her sex appeal is dope. I'm not gonna lie. Like she does have a nasty attitude. Um, so far in this episode or so far in the series because this is the first episode, but. Her sex appeal and her artwork. I personally think pole dancing is artwork. I don't I know mean, about it, other people. I mean, it's meant to be in that form, but some, you know, some people feel see things in different yeah, ways. Yeah, but I, know. I hold hardly. I mean, I may meet one of these like, oh, but no, pole dancing to me, regardless of like, uh, if you're a stripper or if you're just a pole dancer, I think it's a beautiful artwork, and she's she's just mad dope um, with the pole dancing, her sex appeal, um, and her her ambitions. But she does have a little bit of snarky attitude. Yeah. Now, all along comes Autumn Knight. That's her uh, name for the show. Yeah. First She's a newcomer yeah. on out there. Got a got a job by after doing a one night contest. A booty tour contest or something like that. <laughs> you win fifty dollars. That's why it makes me think that it's not this is not to like you know in this day's yeah. form because. The winner only won fifty dollars and some food, which was wild. But I mean, wild. you also got to look at it. it's down in the deep south and all that. Uh, that's true. So the, the business ain't doing too well at the moment. True. But at the same time, it's packed every night. Yeah. But what's leading me to believe it's going to get a lot deeper, especially with Autumn, because you can tell she's coming from being abused. Yes. Being beaten on quite a bit. Yes. And she's running away from it. And you can see it play out because one of the other dancers there is Same being abused. Same thing. Being, beat on, being abused with a newborn baby at that. Yes. And also. How she, 
Don't mean to Francis cut you Forsyth. off. Um, what happened to her child? What you mean, uh, Autumn who, Knight's child? Yeah, who knows? Okay. Like that, that, well, that one right there, I definitely cannot wait until this uh, series uh, unfolds to see what happened to her, her daughter because she had. After she won the witch con uh, won the contest, she goes back to her room or whatever she was at, um, and she's just like literally guzzling <laughs> some liquor or whatever it mm -hmm. was, and she's looking at a picture of a little girl, which you can only assume is her daughter. Um, at that at this moment, you can only assume since it's only the first episode, and then she knocks over, she puts the phone down, knocks over the liquor on the phone, and then the phone cut, cuts out, like the picture is gone. So like she starts freaking out. Mm -hmm. So something tells me something bad happened there, but again, we can't. It's not going to divulge or who until knows, maybe she ran and left the child there with the uh, abusive person. And that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. So it's like you, I definitely can't wait to to divulge in that. Because I mean, everybody has backstory on this show. Yes, even Uncle Clifford, the club owner, he has his own backstory because you could tell the struggling of the business, mm -hmm. also his uh, sexual identity. You could tell he's probably got a backstory of issues. Yeah, because being he did not, not being accepted down there. Because he did take off his nails for one of the scenes. Yeah, um, when he went to the bank. Went to the bank. You know what? I actually do. I, and I, I'm not a club owner, obviously, um, but I can say he is a very nice person. He cares. Yeah, he, I mean, and I he, think he, that's the whole premise of him starting it to give them a, a way out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he definitely cares. Uh, I've never seen the baby in a strip club. Never seen. Technically, he's not allowed in a strip club, really. <laughs> but the, he was taking care mm -hmm. of the baby while one of the dancers was out there trying to get that bread. And he, like, when she got to the job or to the strip club, when her face was beating, he actually took care of her. Told her, you know, listen, this is your money maker. Don't ever let no man take no money, your money maker away from you, whatever the case may be. And like he, so far, this episode, he's a good dude. Yeah. Um, I mean, he cares about see. everybody, all the dancers there for sure. We're going to have to see how things play out with him. Now we can see there's probably going to be something going on with him and the other characters that came on a little later, Little Murder. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why do y'all try to act like y'all hard with these rap names. But, like, come on. And uh -huh. in all reality, it shows that he's probably hiding uh, his true nature of being on the down low. Yes. Because he tries to pretend like he's all for these women and all that. But then as soon as he meets uh, Uncle Clifford, finds out he's running business, he's trying to have a private little session with Uncle Clifford. Mm -hmm. But it turns out at the end, they do work out something where for music. They didn't show if they did anything in the room yeah. or not, but they do try to set up Mercedes since uh, Mercedes left him hanging inside the, uh, what was that? Paradise the room. room. Yeah, the paradise, paradise room. Where she left him hanging. So when Mercedes went out for her final night, her supposed to be final Sunday yeah, night. Mercedes Sunday nights or something like that. And wanted to go out with her music on. Uh, Uncle Clifford told uh, the DJ. DJ Never Scared <laughs> to put yeah, on uh, Lil Murder's music after she already dissed his music. And, and then everybody hard. seen that the mu music was trash in like the first 15 seconds. Uh -huh. And then she gave a little... Uh, the DJ never scared a look. He got scared, <laughs> all right. He quickly switched it back to her drum. But Rewind! Oh, it kind of sounded like it was her actual music. Like really, like she made the music. Really? You think so? And now I wonder. I think that might play into it. Because remember, she's also trying to get her own property. I don't know if she's trying to start her own club and trying to push uh, Uncle Clifford out. Or that she's trying to start her own label. That's a good that's, assumption. It's going to be a good assumption. to see. What plays into that for Mercedes? Play. One quick thing before we do go for wrap this up. Well, we gotta hit her mom. We're gonna oh, we're gonna talk about her mom. Cause there's a lot. To the do. guy from, if I'm not mistaken, what movie was that? Notorious, who was mm -hmm. a who, who played um, Shook. Yeah. Isn't he like part owner or something like that? Wasn't he the guy, and the other guy that was in like the main manager room? Don't know. That's something that we gotta look up. We'll get that back to you on the next video. I don't know if he's the manager. I think he's the financing. What's saying? Is that is that the same guy though? I can't remember. It, it, it looked like him. So we turned it along. Okay, so as I was saying, the um, it, we'll find that out in the next episode if that is him. But it it, it like when I seen him, I was like, that oh, looks like uh. the guy who said the famous line. If you don't want to come to the record studio, come to Death Row. <laughs> that that whole that's what it looked like. But, um, so Mercedes' mother 
is a pastor, minister. I know she does the finances, definitely, for the church. And the thing is with her, and I don't have anything against church people. I'm a Christian myself. But there are some church people who are hypocrites. And this lady is the worst of the worst. Like, she is, like, one of the worst hypocrites ever because she's holier than thou, this, that, and a third. But then as soon as Mercedes hands her a bag full of money, she go on about, she her, go business. On about her business. But see, the part that gets me to begin with, all right, you take Mercedes' money to wash her money inside the church, to basically get compounding her money and washing it in a way, which I don't get. I mean, I understand because she, so she don't have to do with taxes anyway, any kind of way. But so she can't pay down the table as a stripper. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you can't, you can't do both. You can't mm -hmm. be a Christian and want to live holy mm -hmm. in, in life, and then, like, you going to your daughter, talking bad about her, yeah. talking bad about her to her face. Yeah, right in the parking lot. That scene was crazy to the point that she started breaking down and crying yeah so let's talk about the first scene where they i think she was at like the uh chair practice chair practice mom came up to her whatever the case may be and was you know just like talking down on her whatever the case may be and soon as she hand her this little bag of money and the thing is i've never seen somebody take some money with an attitude she gripped the money up mm, and put it in her purse i'm like wait a minute what kind of person is that then at that then at closer to the end of the episode, that night at the club, mm -hmm. screaming and, and telling her, you know, calling out the Lord's name and and like all on her knees and stuff like that, talking, like, please release this from her, please release this from her. And as soon as she hands you this money, you she stop stop crying like that. And Literally stop crying. Away. Walk, wipe her eyes and then walked away. That is the worst type of person, and it boils my blood. Because as a Christian, they don't teach, they tell you not to act in any manner of that nature. And for her to be a, a position, a high position in the church like that, I mean, granted, it's a show, obviously. But there are some people, some Christians oh, yeah, out there it's, it's who like are that like that. It's people and like it, in every way. But... It just blows my mind. But um, it, it just, it's just more storyline, man. And the more storyline, the better the show. Mm -hmm. But see, now, this actually has a good cast because... People on these shows have played in some other roles and some good things. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're not major, but look, I'm looking into the uh, cast. You also have Isaiah Washington being in this, who's we turn, who's going to eventually become the mayor. Well, is the mayor on the show, but I mean, we haven't gotten into him yet. Okay. But you'll see him down the line in there. He's been in a hell of a lot. Okay. You got a few people that's been not big time, but okay roles. So it looks like this the cast is was well picked as well. It's shaping up to be a good cast. And judging from IMDB, most of the people that's that we've seen in episode one is gonna be there throughout mm -hmm. all of the episodes. Which we'll is gonna be it. interesting to see what plays out, especially now that we see that little Martin's gonna be in there for everything. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's, yo, it's his entourage needs to go. <laughs> yo, man, oh, shout out to, to uh, Diamond, the uh, ex-military bouncer. Bouncer, bro. Like he's he listen. He about his job, and he, and he as you can see as 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 the episode uh, progresses, you can see that he cares about the, uh, the ladies of the club. One quick thing that that two quick things about him that was well, that caught my uh, attention really quickly. Why is the club only offering twenty for dudes and thirty for women? I because I have never ever went to a club. Well, for you, but for you, I never went to a club where it was more for the girls to get in than the guys. But good because one, there's no guys stripping, so it's more so for women stripping. And a lot of times, you go and get if women are coming in there, they either coming to see who their man is cheating with. <laughs> or they're coming in to see what their man is looking at. They're not really going to go in there spending more spending okay. money. So okay. Now, granted, you do have a lot of women that would go in there and spend money. But back, essentially, since it's set more so back in time a bit, you really ain't going to have it like that. Okay. That would, that, that would make sense. Okay. That would make sense. And then the other thing, right? This man carries an old school lunch pail. Like the old... Construction worker. Down in the south. 
And now, yeah, this show really shows some serious down south roots. From the grills and the teeth, the way they talk. Yeah. Then also the food. That Say something about being a sausages, right? <laughs> that and then about the chicken and the waffles, all yeah. of it. And the chips. <laughs> Bro, they was, like, to me, like, this is why the show is so good. They was, like, selling, like, not selling food. They was letting people come in for admissions. And then through the side window, yeah, selling cash. out platters, bro, for not, weeks. But not, not even just selling platters. They were also cashing checks on the side, too, from that window. Oh, yeah. Because remember when he was getting, when he got mad about them not checking his payment. I remember that. For his check. Yo, they side hustles for war. And this, this, it's, it's only going to get better, hopefully. But it's only going to get better, hopefully. Well, I know I can't wait for season episode two. Same here. See what happens. But thank you guys for watching. Till next time.